Do you ever just play a game and what you're playing is new technically, but does it just feel like everything that you've played before? Well, that's kind of where I'm feeling right now when it comes to Halo as a franchise right now. But the problem is that like it's been such an issue just to get to where we want to be with the franchise that 343 now Halo Studios have just struggled so hard just to give you what you expect out of Halo to finally just get to the part where you can actually start expanding and making new stuff. And this is where I'm kind of feeling right now. Like even though we played like these new Forge maps in Halo Infinite, it's a brand new experience, right? But you're still playing like just your typical 44 Slayer, you're going for exterminations, you're going for overkills, you know, the typical stuff. You're you're hoarding the power weapons, you're going for the power-ups, you're, you're using your grenades, melee, and your weapons, all like I said, like the typical stuff you've been playing in Halo for the past 20 years. So even though we have a new facelift, a new content, the things they actually do in Halo, it still just feels like Halo, which kind of reminds me of like this Jeb grub quote before the release of halo infinite saying that it's just going to be a halo ass halo game which uh it, that's kind of basically what we got i think what he's referring to that as in you're going to be playing 4v4 slayer you're going to be playing afa big team battle well at the time 12v12 but it's just big team battle bigger team battle really nothing really interesting different or new and that's something i think what we need to really voice our opinions on when it comes to all things halo related and one thing that's really important to say is those opinions as well because these developers even though it might seem like they don't care what we have to say right i see you guys in the comments and like oh the developers don't care 343 slash halo studios doesn't care they do they listen they pay attention and the most recent information that just came out about halo and the battle royale stuff really tells you that like yeah they're listening now even though i've stated multiple times here on the channel that even though we're online we're talking about video games that honestly we're kind of the minority group of gamers most people don't spend the time to go online to talk about games they just kind of spend time playing because that's all they have time for to do but i love my video games right so i go online i engage with the audiences out there and i want to know more what's happening behind them and recently we found some news about the halo battle royale right that they said that it was from a developer that recently stated in a linkedin profile saying it was going to be a game changer now i already talked about this previously on the channel so why am i bringing this up well it seems like a big thing that's actually happening is that these game devs actually see what we say online. They know it all. They read the tweets, they watch the videos, they hear what everyone else is talking about when it comes to their games. So when big news like this drops, especially for Halo, since Halo news has been kind of light, that something like this pops up, it, it gets a lot of attention. And if we're hearing about it, they definitely know about it as well. And I think that finally came to fruition. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. This was a developer over at Raven Software talked about their time at Certain Affinity and just straight up said that they worked on the Halo Battle Royale, which is the first time you've ever heard any form of actual confirmation about this Battle Royale. Even though it's the worst kept secret in gaming, it's nice to actually hear that it was a thing, right? Um, and this is what they had to say, which sounded a bit bitter to say the least about it um, when they said that they worked on the halo multi halo infinite multiplayer saying i led a large team of designers working on a canceled battle royale mode for halo i believe this product would have been a game changer for the franchise we loved playing it and working on it was fantastic experience in spite of ca cancellation so it's like yeah the battle royale was actually going to happen for halo which I'm sure a lot of classic Halo fans were shaking in their boots, little space boots, hearing something about that, which I'm all for Halo Battle Royale actually happening uh, because I think it'd just be a huge actual game changer for the franchise as pretty much Halo's gotten so stale recently that it needs something new and exciting to play around with. And like I said earlier that, yeah, it, attention was given to this post and well, things have certainly changed now for uh, what that job describe actually says from uh mike clopper right he's now part of racing software he recently joined that team so he's like i'm working for call of duty battle royale i got plenty of job security i can say whatever i want and which i mean rightfully so it could be a little bit about we'll talking about that in a minute here but now his job description just says mp halo infinite 
I led a large team of designers working on MP portion of the game. Yeah, not exactly as uh, descriptive as it was previously. And the reason why this battle royale would have been a game changer for Halo is because it's something new and exciting. Yes, it does follow the trends, which we all hate about Halo recently, but it's something that's really important for the franchise to stay relevant that it needs to keep up with modern gaming trends and some things like that and that's not just straight up copium and like sometimes you do need to do that like something like firefight that was following a trend from gears of war that got popularized with the horde mode in gears of war 2 so it's not the first time the halo franchise has followed trends or even with halo reach with loadouts for your starting situation like yeah Halo's followed trends before, oftentimes they succeeded very well. Uh, but the issue that 343, now Halo Studios, did previously is that they straight up just copied trends and didn't make it into a Halo style. That's why the firefight mode worked out well. It's because it's still, even though it was still like the horde mode experience, it played off of what the horde mode was for Gears of War, but made it into a Halo style. Made it like, how can we fit within our existing sandbox? Let's not completely reinvent the game. We just make something that with our sandbox tools, we can do that, which makes something like Halo so special that can pull things like that off because of it being a sandbox shooter. It's not like a Call of Duty or like a Battlefield or anything like that. Well, Battlefield in some ways, but it's mainly Call of Duty, right? We can compare that to it because Halo has such a unique combination of like AI, weapons, vehicles, gunplay, and counterplays when it comes to like alternate, like all the different types of weapons types that we have within Halo that like, if you just throw all these different ingredients into a pot, you get something different and throw some other ingredients, you get a different type of thing out of it. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes to like having a battle royale with Halo would be something that could be really awesome. But of course it couldn't just be a straight up just copy Call of Duty, copy Apex Legends, dear God, do I say copy Fortnite. But there is a desire for a Battle Royale game to be put into Halo. You can see right here, this is a video from Jack Frags talking about the Forge Falcons when he created the Battle Royale, which actually got a lot of attention. I mean, like when you have major people like Jack Frags or kind of like one of the essential YouTubers, FPS gaming YouTubers out there making videos about just a Forge creation from some just really big Halo fans. Tells you that there is a definitely an interest of what Halo could pull off when it comes to battle royale, like in specifically with this one, where they had like changing terrain, you had AI battles mixed in with, of course, the PvE elements as well. They really went all out to really make it something more than just like 16 players loaded into a lobby, last person standing wins. That would be incredibly boring and something that would obviously fail if Halo tried copying exactly that. But the thing that's what makes Halo so special and that could pull off a battle royale is because of the sandbox that's in the franchise, because of the years of development that have gone into refining the gunplay, the AI mechanics as well, and how the game just plays in overall. Like it could do so many new things. And that's something I'm really hoping when it comes to like this new generation that we're getting with the Halo Studios and multiple projects in the works that they are exploring new things that could be done in Halo and not just have it be just 4v4 Slayer, 8v8 Big Team Battle, which don't get me wrong, absolutely needs to be there at launch because as a core element of what makes Halo fantastic, it's something that we all know and love about the Halo franchise, but of course, we need to make sure that we can expand upon Halo and make it something more than, than what we expect it to be. Because if it's just like what we have for Halo Infinite, like I said, just 4v4 Slayer, big team battle, that people would just drop off because it won't really feel like a new game. It will feel like a remastered game, really. People are like, oh yeah, I've had this experience for the last 20 years. It was fun to reminisce and jump back in and play a little bit, but I'm gonna go back and play whatever modern FPS game is the cool new hotness at the time. So that's something I really want to see coming up with Halo by kind of wrapping it back to that original uh, premise of this video showing that like, yeah, developers see what we're talking about. That's why it's important for us to make discussions and talk about these type of things when it comes to the games that we enjoy because the developers, they see us, they hear us. It might be a slower reaction time than you would like, but it's out there. They know what that we're out there. We're, they know that we're talking about this, right? But you know, it, it's all just 
We have to end the way until see what happens next for Halo, but I wish there was a battle royale. Do you wish there was a battle royale? Let me know in the comments down below. If, and if you made it this far in the video, make sure to type a green heart. Let me know who the real ones are out there in the chat. And thank you all so much for watching and subscribe if you want to catch new content. I'll catch you all the next time. Peace out.